Okay, so less than a week before the California primary rules said Nazism, Nazism, as the ideology of the California Republican Party. Uh, Californians so messed up anyway, and I'm not surprised they did this. Um, so if you were to search the California Republican Party and it would come up with the result of Wikipedia with one of the ideologies being Nazism. And voters looking for information by searching California Republicans or California Republican Party are getting Nazism next to their search results until Google took the listing down later Thursday and a query from Vice News. Um, See, the left can label anyone who doesn't agree with them with any label they want. But when Republicans or the right comes out with something against the liberals, everyone loses their mind and all of a sudden the right wing people are wrong. They show a picture on this article of if you were to type it into Google. It was founded in 1854, ideology, the first one being Nazism, conservatism, market liberalism, fiscal conservatism, green conservatism. That was say um, the California Republican Party is linked to the Nazi party would be to say that everyone in the California Republican Party hates the Jews, wants to kill Jews, wants the Jews wiped from the face of the planet, and agrees with Hitler. That's basically what they want you to think. And uh, it's just a ploy. Isn't that something in the Constitution that you're not supposed to do like it's illegal? Um, like, you know, it's against the law to, um, you know, come out lies like this against someone else. Google owes conservatives answers and assurances that are they, that they are putting an end to this. End to this. McDaniel said in a statement to Vice News, evidence is mounting that conservative voices are either being suppressed or, as it appears in this case, being falsely depicted as hateful extremists. Yeah, the left can call right-wing people hateful extremists. But when we call them hateful extremists because that's what they really are. Um, if you don't agree with them, uh, and this whole politically correct movement is suppressing free speech, and Republican Representative Ke Kevin McCarthy of California, the House Majority Leader and potential successor to Speaker Paul Ryan said and I quote, it is disgraceful that the world's largest search engine has labeled millions of California Republicans as Nazis. And again, another quote says from him, this is just the latest incident in a disturbing trend to slander conservatives. These damaging actions must be held to the account, held to account, this bias has to stop. And uh, I'm not saying liberals are the only one that's biased. People on both sides are biased, but don't come out with slander against people, which is illegal, by the way. That's why I was trying to think of slander, uh, because that is illegal. Um, but it's okay if Google does it. It's okay if Facebook does it. Uh, it's okay if the left-wing media does it. Um, 
you know, it's okay for the liberal left wing media to join up with Louis Farrakhan, who's a Jew hating racist. Um, but if someone in the right wing party says something, or someone who's on the right wing says something um, that isn't politically correct, everyone loses their mind. Um, and I mean, this is why I don't watch the news. If I'm gonna, um, I'm trying to find news sources that I can trust right now. But anyways, thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.